Hello everybody, my name is Shay Too Sweet, you call me Shay for short, and today we're going to be reacting to, we're going to be reacting to Demon Slayer, uh, it's good. Tanjiro, Tanjiro rap, Bree, I'll be a resident I'm black friend, talking through the whole entire thing, so hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. let's go, let's go, Tanjiro, my picnic nigga basket, really nigga? Nezuko, come on. Hey, 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 keep your eyes open. Come on. God, can't lose you too. Come on, please. I need you to stay with me. It was just a trip. How did it come to this? I knew before I even saw it from that sense above my lip. I pat their heads before I left them, said that I would come with gifts. How could God be in a world that lets the devil run with kids? I'm hurting. My legs frozen, but I know for certain that my sister dying wouldn't be a pain that I could burden. Getting nervous, and with every step ahead, I feel it worse than not today. You can't have her, cause without her, what's the purpose? Hey, I need you to breathe. No, I need you to believe that you are dying here today. That's a code, just look at me. I don't care if you're a demon. There won't ever be a reason that I'll leave you. It's me and you, man. Fuck these other people. I will go to hell and back. I'm not scared of fighting. No, you're fighting for your life. You're the thread and I'm the needle. Come to me, we'll get through this. If it throttles, you endure. And if you make it on the family, I promise you a cure. After rewatching, bro, after we watching this, I, I rewatched this, I rewatched this, which with a couple of my friends. After we watching this, this episode, I'm gonna tell you, be, besides, besides that the Tanjiro's parents got down they got they got like six kids they got six kids bro count them you you go watch the first episode and you count all them damn kids they had six kids after knowing the amount of guilt that this kid has that Tanjiro basically carries on his back every day because everybody asked him to go with him and then he's like and his mom said no and he, he and he could have said something he could have said something because that's how that's how i interpret it throughout the rest of the episodes the rest of the seasons like like i feel like if he has this guilt like if he would have just said something said something like hey yo no they can like like a few of them can come with me he wouldn't be feeling this type of way. He would feel bad. Like, let's just say like three of them died. He would still feel bad, but he would be like, I still have these three and I can, I can still rock with it. But the amount of guilt that this kid has on his back off of the first episode, you're just like, damn. And then how much he really fights for his sister, bruh, man. Off of the first episode, you just like this little boy, man, pulling at my heartstrings a little bit, dog. Need you chill out. Hold up. Hold up. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Give me one second. I promise. I promise. Can we admit, like, demons' fingernails be always on point? Really, nigga? Like, I know this has nothing to do with anything, but they fingernails be looking cute. They got the little, they got the automatic, they got the nude with the red tips and everything else. Bruh, I went to my nail salon before and just asked for something like that. For that style and everything else. Uh, you know, they wanted to charge me $60. I was like. Bruh. Hey, bruh, I guess I'm gonna be rocking the naturals, but sixty dollars for some. I'm like, yeah. bitch. Hell no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Do you know how many stickers I can buy? How many keyboards? One keyboard. You know how many stickers? Like eight packs of stickers for that. Like, dog. Well, not like around about twenty, but I'm just saying. And a reasonable mid-tier cosplay for sixty dollars, man. I'm probably gonna break these in a day, maybe 
give me four days if I'm lucky. But a cosplay, man, I could rock that for a video for at least like uh, like months. What the hell are you on about? And stuff like that. So I mean, sorry, ADHD moment. Let's keep going. I asked my homeboy, <laughs> cause I wanted to get a Nezuko cosplay. And I was like, hey yo, I want that thing. I want that thing that she got in her mouth. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I said, I want that thing that she got in her mouth. And he's like, you mean like the muzzle? I said, yeah. And he's like, Shay, I don't, I don't think you should get that part. And I was like, what? You don't think I deserve a muzzle? And he's just like, I don't think as your friend, I should be buying you a muzzle. Oh no, no. And then I thought about it and I was like, you right. Let's, let's keep going. <laughs> I was a fool, but I was the one, so I already knew what these people become. They don't teach you in school, when in battle with one, they don't have any rules, but I didn't expect. It's when I relinquish a heaven, the tip of the neck, I would feel some respect. It's funny how you can feel more for somebody in death, when nothing is left. They fade into ashes, hurt they endured, and laying their caskets. Melted away, cause the message was asked, it took you to die to see some compassion. Look through the hate, you see to the tragic, see why the person in front of you have it. I think of them now, the hurting is constant, can't have another kid die on my conscience. They could have been hurt, she could have been dead, she could have been laying back there in the shed. I may even say cause they're coming for hands, but I made a promise I'm paying a debt. I'll train with the best, I'll find me a team once I'm taking a breath. My soul will she, the light in the dark, I'll bury your deep. And the neck of somebody who's aiming at me. Be a mother and trapped with a hope and a blade. All the one that is these are what it became. I laid them to rest, no malice or hate. And I hope and endeavor this peace they attain. I think of that day, I'm still for the snow, not knowing the way and where we would go. But it was okay, cause you are my home. Wherever we roam, we're never alone. Man. Bruh. I really yeah. thought I lost you back then. But it's you and me, right? We gotta stick together. Breathe, let it breathe. Mm. Breathe, let it breathe. It's like a dream. I can see the family all watching me. So I breathe and I breathe. Breathe and I breathe. Gotta keep my name alive so they live on in memory. Breathe, so I breathe. Yeah, and I breathe. And let them see as long as she is with me. If she can breathe, then I breathe. I'll stay fighting till the day that I can truly set up. My nigga. <laughs> that art is immaculate. Dog. Dog. That's beautiful. I love I love Tanjiro as a character. Okay. I always call him Picnic Basket because or or uh, because he, he he reminds me of like a like picnic basket. Like because all of them were plaid. But I I like Tanjiro and I like Nezuko and and one thing I can honestly say about it is what Demon Slayer tries to do is when I when 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 a villain dies, what Demon Slayer does is you can't really enjoy the villain's death as in like, yeah, I finally murked that nigga. Like they try what 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 I see Demon Slayer do a lot is they give them that backstory so you can understand how they got to that point. And I love seeing some of those backstories. But under no circumstance, I do not give a flying f fuck what circumstance that guy has that killed my nigga. <laughs> I ain't crying again. I'm not gonna cry again. I promise. I promise. I already cried in my Sparks video. I am not gonna cry again. I, I'm not gonna cry again. But I love my albino Charmander, Rengoku. And he shares the name, same part name of Kakarot. But Rengoku, I do not give a flying fuck what that backstory is for that guy who killed my nigga. I do not care. He can just, I don't give a, 
He could have the most tragic backstory in the world. I am still going to sit there and laugh my ass off when he dies. Fuck you too. Take money. Take money. All of y'all motherfuckers, fuck you, die slow, motherfucker. My anyway, but do I love this song? Yeah, I love it. I like it. I really do. Um, it's going to be added to my playlist um, of stuff I'm going to be listening to on the airplane going to my home girl's wedding. So, uh, shout out to, shout out to my best friend. Uh, her name is Brandy. Shout out to you. I love you girl. And probably when this gets posted, I'm at your wedding already. So I cannot wait. Uh, but like, like, um, like my grandmother always says, go support the original creator. Cause if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do what I do here provide funny clips and give commentary. So make sure you go support the original creator. All links for them will be down below. And like my grandmother always says, so long. Why should I worry?